Janet and John are in the garden. Janet wants to cut back the top of the hedge, but can't reach. Poor Janet. John can reach. See how tall John is. But John is not allowed to play with sharp things after the last time. Janet sends John to borrow some long-handled shears from a neighbor. Clever John. Remembers he had often seen Mrs. Frontage trimming her hedge. <laughs> See John ring the doorbell. There's not a bush dong. involved in this anyway, is it? <laughs> Oi. <laughs> See, <Take him> on. <laughs> See Mrs. Frontage come to the door. Janet says she has heard that Melanie Frontage has a Brazilian. Do you know what a Brazilian is? John no. friend, John's friend Phil does. John does not see a Brazilian. Hello, Johnny, says Mrs. Frontage. What can I do for you today? John says, I wondered if I could borrow some shears. If you can find them, says Mrs. Frontage, I have lots of hoes and rakes and things in the shed. Have a look in the tool chest. Thank you, says John. Poor John, he can only find one pair of shears, and they are old and rusty. John goes next door to see Mr. Terrace. Mr. Terrace is not in, but Mrs. Terrace is. Mrs. Terrace says... <laughs> yes. Charlie has some in the garage. Let me help you find them. Kind Mrs. Terrace. John says, thank you, Mrs. Terrace. See John, take the shears and go home to Janet. Janet says, you were gone a long time. What have you been up to? See the warning signs. <laughs> John says, I called in to see Mrs. Frontage. She said she could help me if I was looking for a hoe, but I could have a rummage about in her chest anyway. But I didn't get what I wanted. It wasn't until Mrs. Terrace showed me her Charlie's in the garage that I came across a pair that were big enough. She said that if I wanted to, I could pop around for her second tours any time. See Janet reach for the pruning knife. See John make a big John-shaped hole in the hedge. <laughs> Run, John. Run?